In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just, and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. There is, brothers and sisters, we have a God who is always working, working for our good, for our salvation. He never rests until our vindication is assured unto us. Our God is really working and still working that we may pass from death to life and break forth in joy forever. It is a passing from condemnation to justification, from doubt to belief, from sorrows to joys, from death to life. The first reading speaks of movements of new exodus of the Israelites, what they shall make from Babylon back to their homeland, which every sons and daughters of God who believe shall make to their heavenly homeland. The journey of the Israelites was from slavery to freedom, as the journey of the elect shall be from death to life. God will fear them, for they shall not hunger or thirst as God continues to feed us with his body and blood, nourishes our soul with his body and blood. We are willing ourselves to be nourished by him as he continues to work. We are projects of God. He will guide them, making ways for them through waters and mountains. So shall the Lord himself be our way, for he is the way, the truth, and the life, the way leading us to life. And to crown all his works in our lives for our salvation, he gives us his word that he will not forget us. He is always there for us, and he will always be there for us. The Lord is really kind and full of compassion. Let us come to him. Let us acknowledge him. And he continues to mold us to be who he wants us to be for our salvation, for our happiness. And may the Lord continue to grant us his love all the days of our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.